Hi everyone, okay so today I'm going to be doing this look for you. Now it's kind of an electric blue sort of look. I've just got like a bit of mascara there that's like stuck. Oh yeah. So it's kind of like an electric blue um, kind of smoky eye with like a kind of um, blacky tint on the end to it. I've got a bit of a sore throat as you can tell. So here it is, it's just a really, really simple electric blue kind of look with the black kind of smoke on the end of it. So I'm going to get started, I'm going to show you how to do this look. So, as you can see I've had my hair done and it's a bit blonder than it was last time. I'm sorry but the camera's dead rocky, I think that's enough. Wait, I'm getting texts through constantly for no apparent reason. Okay, so first, I forgot what I did first. I'm going to be getting a synthetic brush. Um, reason being is I'm going to be applying the, no, that second. I'm going to be applying the Michael Todd eyeshadow base first. And this is just going to prime my eyes. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I don't want it to be too rocky. It. Right, so I'm just going to be blending that base all over my eye. So you've got a nice neutral base, it's just got rid of any redness and just covered any like blemishes or anything that are on your eye and it also give you a nice base to start your eyeshadow off on. I'm just trying not to look too rocky. So then after that I'm going to be getting a synthetic brush. You can find it it's here. I'm going to be getting a synthetic brush. I'm going to be getting the Para makeup and this is a cream duo. You've got the silvery colour open it up. You've got the electric blue colour and then you've got silver colour. So we're going to be using the electric blue as a base. So I'm just going to get this on my brush and it's a cr it's kind of a creamy uh, substance. And I'm just going to be gently just placing that all over my eyelid. You're just going to gently apply that base all over your eye, going into the crease and then we're going to get a brush and we're just going to gently just blend that out. So you've just gently applied that base and that's just going to be a colour for the uh, kind of the electric blue. So that's the colour we're trying to achieve but it's going to be a bit more brighter. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be applying my 120 palette which I haven't used for a very very long time. I'm going to be applying this electric blue colour right here. Basically, I'm going to be getting that on my brush. I'm going to be applying it up to the middle, just patting it on. So I'm going to be applying that up to the middle. As you can see you've got the nice colour there. 
And then after that, I'm going to be getting my Urban Decay palette. I'm going to be getting Zero, which is a glittery black colour. I'm going to be getting that on my brush. And just applying that to the outer corner. And we're going to go into the crease, but only a bit into the crease. This bit's a bit dodgy there, isn't it? I'm going to be blending all of this out by the way. And then I'm going to get my 217 brush by MAC and then I'm going to be gently in a circular motion blending the two together. Blending it into the crease. Now I'm going to be gently blending this black colour just under my waterline, my lower waterline. Just so it's like gently adding a smokiness. I'd call this a kind of clubbing look. Very dramatic, very bold. That sort of thing. I'm just going to clean up a bit here. Close it. And then after that, I'm going to be adding Urban Decay and Big Fatty Mascara. Now, I was going to add some lashes, but then I decided not to. Um, mainly because I kind of threw them all the way. Because I need to get some more. And then, we're going to go quite neutral on the lips, seeing as though we've got bald eyes. If I can find it, if I can find it. I just lose everything. Kate Liquid Rouge I got from TW. I don't see the colour. But it's just a really, really light pinky colour. It just adds a nice gloss to your lips. It doesn't really add a lot of colour. And there you have it, my dramatic blue look, smoky, but clubbing look sort of thing. I'm going to turn you around a bit, just so that I kind of see it. My hair's a bit of a mess. But oh well, we can all deal with a bit of messy hair, can't we? So there you have it, it's really, really simple, really, really dramatic. It's really good if you want to be bold on camera and things like that, you know, it's giving a good kind of look. Obviously I would add some false eyelashes but I have got some on me but they're just not very nice and I don't really like them that much so that's why I'm not going to be using them today. But obviously you could be adding big false lashes, you know, to make it even more dramatic than it already is. Um, 
and I think that would make it stand out even more if you added false eyelashes. So my cold's really bad, it's like, uh, um, I sound like the grudge, that's a horrible film. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed this look, I might do another eye makeup look, um, simply because I'm, I'm kind of on a roll and I want to do more makeup looks, um, I'm not going to stop doing them. So I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll, so I'm going to keep doing some more, hopefully. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this look, I hope it's dramatic enough for you all. And I will see you all soon. Bye.